So yun po na what's up sa inyo mga kaibigan Now for this video ay uh, mag uh, unboxing lang tayo Sort of Hello 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 what's up sa inyo mga kaibigan So now <laughs> Currently recording eh no mga kaibigan Sa moment na to At this very moment mga kaibigan In English ko lang yung sinabi ko We have reached 1,000 subscribers! Pumapalakpak yan na may sound effects dyan na pumapalakpak. So yun nga mga kaibigan, we have finally reached 1,000 subscribers and sakto-sakto uh, mag-vlog dapat ako today. And yes, sobrang excited ako. So uh, sa lahat po na nag-subscribe sa akin, no, sa isang libong kayo, uh, sobrang thank you po sa uh, support uh, and uh, sa pagtangkilik or sa panunood ng mga contents na ginagawa ko. And I really do hope na nakakatulong ako. Uh, mo mostly ng mga nagko-comment is sa conversion project ko ata ng uh, uh, from hybrid bike to road bike. Eh, marami ako natatanggap na tanong dun sa content ko nyan. So, uh, I'm more than willing po to help you guys no sa content nyan. Uh, just click uh, the link below, mga kaibigan, para sa uh, Facebook page ko, uh, para mas makapag-usap tayo ng mas maayos kesa sa comments tayo. Although, papansinin ko naman yung comments nyo, I'll be responsive as much as possible. But, para mas magkaroon ako ng maganda suggestion, no, mga kaibigan, uh, click the link below para sa page ko. And like nyo na rin kung gustuhan nyo or what. Pero, if you just want to talk to me about things, I can... Uh, Click on the link below to redirect my page and you can message me there. Okay? So, yun nga po na mga kaibigan, happy 1,000 subscribe, 1,000 subscribers, no mga kaibigan? Uh, wala na, sobrang saya ko lang today kasi ayun, uh, 1k subs na tayo! Well, anyway, ayun nga mga kaibigan, uh, so kung mapapansin nyo rin, uh, nagpagupit na rin ako. Uh, masyado na napaiksi naman ata, uh, yung gupit ko sobrang iksi. Pero anyway, mga kaibigan, uh, uh, sa last video ko, no, I did uh, update you with my uh, current CAD build series, mga kaibigan. And uh, for now, uh, nagpostpone muna ako sa upgrade noon. Actually, di nagpostpone. Eh. Upgrade ko pa rin to, But in the future na siguro, di ko alam. Pero anyway, ayun, uh, I did mention I have a new gear, mga kaibigan. It's this uh, uh, GPS cyclo computer, which is the IGS port. I GPS port IGS 50 yan kung makikita nyo Strava ko na naman yung nakikita nyo dun sa ano ano yan so anyway uh, I've used this one for a week na and uh, so far okay siya uh, wala akong masabi dito sa cyclone future na to although uh, ang naging parang napansin ko lang dito is minsan matagal mag-search ng uh, GPS. Although, syempre, it does vary from location to location. Pero, parang yung cyclo computer ng kaibigan ko, uh, which is a XOSS, mas mabilis siya nakakasagap ng signal compared to this one. Yun lang yung napansin ko, ah, ay tinik-chinik ko lang yung sa kanya uh, para mas mabilis nakahagap ng signal yun. And, uh, nakita ko rin sa mga reviews. So, uh, though hindi naman siya issue, siguro just takes about 20 seconds para maka-record uh, ka dito sa cyclo computer na. Pero nonetheless, uh, okay siya mga kaibigan. It's uh, very precise and uh, the speed recording is also good. And wala naman ako naging problems when it comes to syncing it sa Strava. Uh, although nagkaroon ang ata na issue sa servers ng iGPS port na hindi ko siya na uh, upload sa app. Pero... Uh, other than that, sobrang goods na ito. This is a good buy. And hindi ko naman kasi totally kailangan ng maps maps sa uh, cyclo computer. So, ito lang muna. Dito lang muna ako nag-invest. Para at least, uh, wireless na siya. Wala nang problem with my wires and everything. Tapos, uh, easy upload pa siya sa Strava without uh, actually using my phone. Kasi, nakakalobat na po this Strava. Pero anyway, ayun. I, sinabi ko, I did bought a uh, cadence and uh, heart rate monitor kasi uh, I think I kind of need that eh. Saka uh, bumili na rin ako ng something ng mount kasi ayoko naka-mount lang siya dito sa stem kasi mawawala yung aesthetics ng stem ko. Ewan ko ah, medyo aesthetic. So ayun mga kaibigan, uh, naka-mount na kasi yung uh, uh, 
clamp ay naka-mount. Nakalagay lang kasi yung mount dito sa stem, kaya medyo nawawala yung A-set. So, ayun mga kaibigan, napapakita ko sa inyo yung mga nabili ko dito sa uh, Shopee, no? So, uh, what I have here is, uh, na uh, actually na-unbox ko na siya lahat eh. Except pala sa cadence sensor, kasi itong uh, heart rate uh, sensor is nagamit ko na siya kanina. Uh, other than that, closed uh, lahat na ano ka ba, nasa box pa yung cadence sensor. Although yung mount, uh, nabuksan ko na pala, <laughs> nabuksan ko na pala yung mount, so hindi ko pala nakakabit. So, ayan, tingnan natin. So, for the first item na nakakuha natin kay Salamat Shopee, no, mga ibigin, is this. The Mayland C5 Heart Rate Monitor. Ayan, kung makikita nyo dito. Uh, it does have an instruction dito sa likod. So, uh, what happens is that nandito lang yung item. So, nandito siya. Ayan. So, uh, nagamit ko na siya kanina. And this is what it looks like. This is the uh, sensor itself. Ayan. Maliit lang siya, actually. Uh, ano yung piece niya? Ano yung makikita nyo? Ang gano'n siya. Ano yung piece? Uh, oops. Oh, gumagamit na ganito na rin. So, anyway, eh, manipis lang siya mga ibigyan. It's very lightweight. Less than uh, 10 grams at ato or 10 grams lang. Hindi ko na siya gumay. Kasi magkano naman. And, uh, this is the strap. Oops! This is the strap. As you can see here, ayan. This is the strap. Ayan. So, there is uh, two lug nuts or lug nuts. There's two uh, parang... Uh, so, meron suksukan dito, no, mga kaibigan, para dito sa, para dito sa sensor na to. So, what happens is that you just keep this in here. So, ayan, i-clip natin dito, ayan, tapos, and, ayan siya, ganito siya lalabas, ayan yung sensor. And then, uh, there is electrodes in here, so kind of like a, uh, what you see in the hospital pag uh, nag-lalagay sila ng, uh, uh, mga sensor or sa katawan ng tao. So, ayan yun. Dito nila nila. Dito yung sensors na yan. Kung baga, there's a uh, flow of current in here or what. So, basically, mga kaibigan, may pads dito na nag, ito yung nagsisilbing sensor pag nilagay mo siya sa chest. So, when you strap it on your chest, this becomes the sensor. Alright? So, uh, it sends signals from uh, these to metals in here, ayan. Diyan na re signal kung nakikita nyo dito. And then, all the way to here. Ngayon, uh, this is actually a Ant Plus and Bluetooth uh, capable device. So, uh, if ever you're gonna use Bluetooth or Ant Plus in your uh, head unit, uh, this is uh, this would be compatible to that. So, uh, kung matatanong nyo, rechargeable ba to? Hindi po. It does have a battery na similar sa cat eye na uh, speedometers, mga kaibigan. Yung makikita nyo dito, just twist this cap off and then you're good. And then after that, pag, uh, actually automatic sensor siya eh. So, uh, currently it's on sleep mode. So, hindi ko siya magagamit. Uh, paano malalaman dito na naka, ano siya, naka-on siya if uh, wala siya ang ginagawa? So, uh, mag-on siya automatically if I were to place it in here. Ayan. And then, ilalagay ko lang siya dito sa strap, eh, sa chest ko, no, mga kaibigan. So, if I put it in here, uh, it will automatically read my heartbeat. So, another question na uh, could be raised, no, mga kaibigan, uh, bakit ito ang binili ko? Uh, una sa lahat, mura to, okay? Uh, just cost uh, 870 pesos, no? Siyempre, 900 pesos na yun, siguro plus shipping fee. Pero, it, this is the cheapest that I can get sa Shopee, no? Kasi uh, yung iGPS port mismo na heart rate sensor costs around 1.5 and uh, I've seen the reviews dito sa particular item na to. Ilalagay ko pala sa baba sa description yung mga links ng shops kung saan ko nabili siya para at least may uh, idea kayo kung saan yung mga idea. Okay? So actually mga kaibigan may instructions naman siya dito sa likod kung paano siya kami din. So, so it's very straightforward friends. Uh, just connect it with your uh, device. Uh, it does vary, no? Kung ano may device may fits. Garmin or Brighton. Tignan nyo na yung instructions. Pero kapag ito sa inyo for this particular unit. 
So yeah, let's check if this does work, no? So what I'm gonna do is, uh, um, basically, mga kaibigan, na-adjust siya dito, yan. You have a uh, thing to adjust, uh, you have a strap to adjust the tightness according to your bust, no, mga kaibigan. And then there's a hook in here. There's a hook in here para makakabit mo siya dito. So it will be snug fit sa chest area. Breaking news, got me breaking, 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 breaking. I was pressing, hopeless, praying, praying, praying. Pero yung mga tatap niya sa tapos. So yeah, mga kaibigan, na strap na siya dito sa aking chest. Okay, so I don't know if you're able to see, pero nagbibling siya. See that? That's an indicator na the device is on. So what I'm gonna do is turn on my device. Let's see if it will work again, again. Let's see if it will work again. Let's see if it will work again. So, ayan siya. Actually, automatically siya na nag-compare sa akin. Ayan, you will see my heart rate na medyo mirrored na siya. Pero that's 78. Beating is 78. Pero paano ba siya i-set up? You click this button. Back button for the setting. Long press for a few seconds. You'll see this option. It's called E1. Anyway, yeah, it's called E1, and then what you're gonna do is press this power button, and you'll pair your uh, Ant Plus or Bluetooth device with this uh, uh, GPS port model. So, uh, for this one, I have the heart rate monitor. So, yeah, nag-pair na siya, pero wala pang cadence sensor. So, heart rate monitor and cadence sensor, yung dinedetect niya. So, uh, it's now connected. So, it's reading 78 now. So what I'm gonna do uh, to prove na accurate the reading niya is I am going to check my heart rate. No, I mean. So ito mga ibigan. So currently 83 ang reading dito sa sensor. So what I'm gonna do para malaman natin kung tama siya is to listen manually sa puso ko. So, I have here is a stethoscope. This is a Littmann stethoscope, mga kaibigan. So, <laughs> so anyway, ayan. Uh, Chicheck ko yung heart rate ko for one minute. So, so fast forward ko na para di kayo mainip. So, ayan. So, place stethoscope in here. So, may upper, so may bandan left because this is where the heart is located. Okay, for one minute. Right, so, okay, okay. Three, two, one. For one whole minute, friends, ang naging reading ko sa stethoscope is 72. My reading in here is 70. Nee, nag-iiba siya, nagpa-fluctuate siya. Pero, sakto, nung pag-ano ko, nag-range siya sa 70, 70 to 73. Pero ngayon, yan, 69, 71, 73. Ayan siya. 75. Yan siya nag-range. Because our heart rate does vary in everything that we do. And it's called compensation. But we'll discuss that some other time. So, it's a if it's accurate, yes. Di ko lang siya pa na ta try pag ano yun? Pag talaga nagbibigay ako na effort. But if you are stationary, this is actually accurate, right? So I'm doing seventy six, seventy seven, roughly ganon. So ganon yung kuwako sa heart rate ko via stethoscope and yun yung reading dito sa heart rate sensor. So if I can say it's accurate. Good. Uh, waterproof pa siya? Y not exact. So it is not waterproof but it is water resistant because it has a rating of IPX5. So it's only water resistant for a few uh, meters or just a splash resistant. You know? uh, so do not attempt to wear this while you're swimming. Okay? But anyway, that's it for this Mayland C5 heart rate monitor. So let's now go with this one. Uh, this is a Magin uh, speed and cadence sensor, so it's two in one. Pero isa lang yung binili ko since GPS naman to magkakaroon ng speed yan, so reliable naman. So cadence sensor na lang. So uh, as you may see, uh, dinis in fact ko na mo na kasi siya. So uh, what's in this box? You have a instructions manual. You have yun, the sensor itself and. So, I don't know if you can actually see it. Mas box pa siya. Di ba siya napubuksan? Ayan. Gagawin mo siya. Kahit ganyan ko, wala nangyari. So, anyway, ayan. And then, you have a... Some... Here pa. 
Ayun. The strings na i-attach nyo dito sa crank. crank anyway, yan. So, how it works, I'm still not sure. Pero, uh, it does have batteries, mga kaibigan. So, you still need to use uh, batteries na ginagamit sa mga cat eye uh, type of things na battery. So, first, I'll show you. So, ito yung battery na kailangan nyo lang, mga kaibigan. Ayan. This kind of battery. So, this is a uh, CR2032 lithium battery. So, ito na yung kailangan yung battery uh, in case na mag-wear out na siya or what. So, uh, bibigyan ko kayo na update kung kailan na uh, gano'ng katagal siya nagla-last. And, uh, yeah. So, that's it. Ayan, my friend. So, alam ko na kung paano siya gamitin. So, uh, what you have here is the unit itself, no? Mga kaibigan. So, the unit does come with the battery. And, uh, to... Uh, enable the battery to be operated. Meron siyang ganito sa loob. So, what you're gonna do is that meron parang dito switch. Hindi siya actually switch eh. Para mabuksan siya, uh, i-ano mo siya. So, you, meron dito parang lever na you, know, you can see it. May parang lever and Parang lever yan. So, you just push this lever to the left. Ayan. And then unlock na siya. So, you'll see this one. Ayan. And then to lock it, just press it in here, and and then turn it to the opposite side. So, so there we go. And nakalak mo siya. And then magiilaw siya ganyan. Ang sabi dito, if it's a flashing green light, uh, speed is uh, broadcasted oh, via Bluetooth. So uh, para magawa natin yan, dalagin uh, natin to. Dalagin nyo siya actually dito sa hub. Eh ipapakita ko sa inyo. Pero, uh, para iset up muna natin siya bago natin siya ilagay. So, uh, what I see here is a gasket, no? So, before nyo siya i-mount dito sa monitor, ay sa hubs or dito sa crank, you we'll have this gasket. Uh, rubber silicone gasket para uh, maging secure siya. Secure fit siya uh, dito sa components ng bike mo. So, it doesn't slip off. Kasi baka yung kakapitan nito. So, uh, that's a slot here. And then, ito yan. So, Huh. Oh, actually, dalawa pala yung gasket dito, no? So, isang flat end, you can see, and isang may, kurba, may pagkakurba, may concave siya. So, I'm guessing this is the one for the hubs kasi uh, flat mo siya lalagay na ganito. So, it does uh, imitate the uh, circumference ng hub. So, uh, cadence natin siya gagamitin. So, flat, yun ang dito sa uh, crank arms natin. So, this is the one for the use. So, Ang kailangan daw gawin is that i-strap natin siya dito sa crank. So, this is what I'm gonna do. Ayan! So, nakabit ko na siya. So, there is the sensor in there. Ayan, just rotate the crank. And then, let's see if uh, magkakonek siya. So, gonna bring out my iGPS port. Gonna open. Let's see. It does take a while, no, mga kaibigan? Fa-fast forward ko na lang to kahit paano, no? Yeah, so long press this one till we end up with E1. Then click in here. Then let's spin the crank. Let's see if we'll go connect. Yeah. So the current data. So Spin it again. So there we have 105. Yun. Then stationary na siya. And everything set. Yun. It's working. So this is what it looks like, no, mga kaibigan. Nakan dito lang siya upon with the rubber. Uh, uh, silicone uh, grips na nagsusupport siya. So, nakaipit lang siya dito. Then, rotated dito sa kabila. And, uh, uh, what I would suggest is that medyo if uh, forward or position your cleats away from the crank arm para may wash yung shoe rub kasi baka kumabius dito yung ating shoe or whatever and then uh, matanggal yung uh, sensor and it could be sayang. Uh, mawawala na lang tayo ng cadence sensor just like that. So, uh, what I would suggest is yun nga, i-medyo i- 
forward dito yung uh, cleats position para at least hindi siya magsusura dito but other than that uh, it's working uh, still gonna do a long term review but for the time being it's syncing with my um, GPS uh, head unit uh, it does record the cadence together with the heart rate monitor and it's all good so yeah, that's it for the uh, cadence sensor makabihan the heart rate monitor I'm still uh, gonna use it for a very long time para makapagbigay ko ng honest review so for now it's just the initial impression kasi everything is working fine for now uh, titignan natin kung gano'n siya tatagal and uh, yun Let's check what's gonna happen next. Anyway, uh, na tayo sa mount. Uh, it's just a simple mount, no, mga kaibigan. Ito lang naman siya. Para malalagay ko lang siya dito sa stem, no, friends. Para sa harap pala, sa stem bolts, I uh, just have uh, this one, uh, GoPro or flashlight adapt, uh, attachment. And then, yung uh, top cap kung saan ko imamount itong uh, iGPS port. So, this is for a Garmin. Uh, it does work with iGPS port perfectly. So, yeah. So, wala naman issues there and hindi ko lang siya maalis. So, kailangan pa rin alisin na ganito. Yeah. Although, medyo crunchy lang siya. Pero anyway, not really an issue. So, uh, ito, yung mga pieces na nandun. So, for the flashlight, meron dito. And then, for Brighton, nandito rin. And, uh, cat eye. Ito pala yung mga tools na kailangan na meron dito maliit na Allen hex wrench for the bolts. Para dito. So, para ma-mount dito yung uh, top cap. And then, you have these long uh, hex screws and uh, some washers and the spacer para dito sa ano uh, bottom na stem. Anyway, tanggalin na natin tong nandito sa gitna na stem and let's install it. Na. Five minutes later. So yun nga po mga kaibigan, no, na-mount ko na itong uh, mount dito sa aking stem uh, with the cyclo computer and uh, for the Garmin variant, it does fit well lang sa iGPS port na mount. So anyway, uh, done with that. So uh, yun lang po no, mga kaibigan. So uh, hindi siya quick video. So siguro medyo matagal daw. But anyway, uh, yun lang po no, that's it for this video mga kaibigan. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, share nyo na rin. And uh, I'll be still review, I'll be uh, reviewing pa rin itong uh, Maylan na uh, heart rate a monitor and the own cadence sensor natin na magin. So uh, that's it for this video. So I hope na safe pa rin kayo dyan sa akin na lalagyan yung mga kaibigan. So, uh, yun lang po. Eh. Enjoy nyo lang po yung pagbibisikleta. Pero always remember to stay safe, wash your hands, and mag-ingat po tayo lagi mga kapadyak. And God bless po sa inyo mga kaibigan.